Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel and welcome to another easy to follow beginner home screen setup. It's perfect for everyone out there that's not too confident with their home screens and they don't want to mess it up, so this video is for you guys. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great everyone, so today's beginner setup is brought to you by the artist, I'm going to say this wrong, but it's Solovy Paha and his home screen is titled Gloss Version 2, as you can see why it's got that very minimal clean gloss appearance that always looks good on any home screen. I also chose it because it's doing very well on the My Color Screen site, it just recently got screen of the day and it's trending very well. So if we have a closer look, it's got your awesome little user icon there with whatever personal message you want underneath. You've got your time date alarm there and of course everything has its hotspots so if you select the time it'll bring up your clock or whatever other app that you would like. Beneath that you've got some important information for example the temperature, your battery status and some missed notifications in case you have any. Below that you've got your jump to shortcuts for example your gallery, your camera and of course your file explorer but of course you can change that to whatever you want and then just some quick jump to applications beneath that as well so it's a fantastic one page setup perfect for the beginners out there as it's just purely just four skins to add so if you'd like to know how to recreate this very home screen then let us begin with today's video tutorial so before you begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. Number one will be a very good custom launcher. I do recommend Nova Launcher Prime for this very setup simply because you need to get some big grid size options and not many launchers can do this. So I do recommend maybe even trying out Thema. Thema can get very large grid sizes. But for now, I'm just using Nova Launcher Prime in this video and it seemed to work out best for me. Next up will be UCCW. And that's because those are those four widgets or the widgets that you saw on the home screen. That's all UCCW and I know a lot of people haven't used it out there in a while but I always recommend it for beginners as it's got a very small learning curve and as always a good file explorer such as ES File Explorer right here. It's free and it's always good for copying and pasting your files to and from either your computer or just from mobile sites. I, I highly recommend this app. So once you have all those down, you want to just, I'm just going to be opening up my ES File Explorer. You want to check in the link in the description below. It comes with all the resources needed. It's located in a zip file that you can either copy onto your computer and then extract it, then copy it onto your phone or just download it directly onto your phone and extract it using a file explorer such as ES File Explorer. So what I've done now is just extracted it. There you can see Glass version 2. And there, as you can see, it comes with your 4.uzips. Remember, UCCW knows exactly what to do with these. Don't try and unzip them or anything. You just leave them alone. And of course, your awesome looking wallpaper. So once you have all those down, we can jump into editing our launcher setup. So let's get to it. Great, so next up we're going to be editing our Nova Launcher settings. So in order to do that, you just simply need to hold down on the home screen, select the little wrench there to open up our Nova Launcher settings. Now the first thing that we want to do is open up our labs menu in order to get that big grid size options. And if you have no idea how to do that, very simple. We just need to simply hold down on the menu button. Bam, it pops up at the bottom here of your Nova Launcher settings. You can now open it up and you want to have big grid size options enabled just so you can get that big grid size within Nova Launcher. So I'm just gonna go back out of it. So now I can jump into my desktop and then into my desktop grid settings. And as you can see now, I can bump up my columns number up to right up to 15. And that's what's recommended. So the artist did recommend a 12 by 15 and this worked out for me. So if it doesn't work out for you, maybe try and change the grid size options a little bit. See what works best for you. As always, margins are none. You want your shadows to be disabled, search bar off only one page so you don't have to worry about any scroll effects and of course we are home screens you just want to have one home screen if we scroll a bit more down widgets overlap somewhat important you pretty much just always want to have this enabled as you might come across some widget overlapping within your setup so other than that this looks pretty good we're just going to go back now into our dock settings you definitely want to have that dock disabled do not need one if we jump into our look and feel scroll down you want to have that notification bar you want to have that disabled you don't need that notification bar because we've got our own badass notifications on the home screen itself. Next up, you want to jump into your gestures and buttons. And because there is no physical app draw icon or button, what I always like to do is to set my home button 
and you can do this with the free version as well is to set it this one over here to make it open up your app drawer and in order to change that you just need to select it open up straight away and you can just select app drawer quick and simple like that or if you have the prime version I always recommend setting a gesture to open up your app drawer as sometimes it is a little quicker I always like to go for the swipe up to open up my app drawer. So that is that. So that's pretty much it for now for our Nova settings. If we go back, you should see that your notification bar has now disappeared. And once that's done, we're just going to quickly change the wallpaper. Very easy to do. Simply hold down on the home screen, select wallpapers. You can just go into your gallery, your preferred gallery app, and then find that folder where you've pasted it. And there it is right there. Not too much. You can put it wherever you want, actually. Just make it sure that it touches the top and the bottom select OK and then it's going to change for you so let it do its thing and there it is changed looking all good so next up well finally will be our UCCW setup great guys almost there so we just need to add in our UCCW skins right now very easy to do simply have to hold down on the home screen and select widgets we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you want to select a UCCW. Now, of course, it doesn't matter what size you're going to go for because it's a very big grid size. So if I go for a 4x4, that always works out well. You want to be selecting a UZIP right now because you want to be importing a UZIP onto your home screen. So in order to do that, you just need to locate that folder that's located on your SD card. You want to go into that glass V2 folder and there is the four that we mentioned earlier. You just want to select number one, or well, doesn't really matter which size you want to go for, what number you want to go for, but you just want to hold down on it, drag it say into the top corner and then resize it. And there we go, maybe a little bit up. And as you can see, it sits flush against the corners like that. So as always, if it doesn't fit out well like that, then you might have to rearrange your grid sizes a bit, see what works best for you. Next up, we're going to be adding in the rest of the widgets, which is extremely easy to do because it's exactly the same process. Back into UCCW, doesn't really matter what grid size you go for, select use zip. I'm going to go for number two this time. Could have guessed that. You're going to hold down and select resize and then pretty much just resize it so that it fits underneath this one right there. All I'm going to do now to save some time is to just quickly fast forward this so that I've added in the bottom two UCCW skins. Great, so I've now customized or added in each one of these UCCW skins, but of course you want to make them open up your own preferred apps and you possibly want to change this text and picture. Now, if you have used UCCW before and you tap it right here, nothing happens. That's simply because you have the hotspots mode enabled. So in order to change that, you just need to go open up your app drawer, go into UCCW, select the little menu button at the top there, lock widgets and go off. And this will now enable you to do whatever editing that you want. So anything that I want to be changing is my hotspots and these two pictures or the image and the text. So if you select it now, as you can see, the editor opens. And from here, we want to edit our objects. So we're going to select the edit objects label or the tab right there. We want to first go into our image one. That's the image of this very pretty lady. So we want to scroll a bit down and select image. Now, of course, you can just change this to whatever image that you want. If you do want to get it into a cropped image, like this one over here then I do recommend using an app called photo editor as that allows you to crop a perfect circle so I'm just gonna bump up the scale let's see I think a 90 will look pretty good so that looks pretty good right there you can now, of course change the text by going back scrolling a bit more or scrolling to the top you want to look for static text one selecting that you can now scroll all the way down to text and then just say whatever you want put in your email put in text does not bother me and once that's done you just want to select OK if it's a little bit too much to the right you want to scroll to the top select position you can now select faster movement and then just bump it across see what looks best for you so I think that looks pretty good we're just gonna go back now see what it looks like you can always just go back into this editor of course so I think that looks pretty good now of course the last thing that you want to be doing is to be customizing each one of the hotspots now I'm just gonna be showing you three and you can just follow suit for the rest. Now all you're going to do is to say select this multimedia tab right here. If we select the side, it'll then open up the editor. We can now go into our edit objects and you want to select hotspots. Now you can see that the three have been selected, but I don't use any three of these or maybe the camera in a different language. So in order to change this, you want to select hotspot one and you want to select hotspot. Now, of course, you can just select app or shortcut doesn't really matter, but an app's always a good choice. Now, all you have to do is to scroll a bit down, find your preferred app. I'm going to be selecting camera to open up my camera like that. 
It's that simple. It's been set. Hotspot number two, you can now go again into your hotspots again. I want that middle one to open up my just my standard gallery. So I'm just going to scroll down a bit and select gallery. And then finally, of course, the last one, you can set it. I don't have that root explorer. So I'm just going to be changing it to say ES file explorer. So again, I'm going to be scrolling down to there it is right there. And now they've all been configured. Now what you want to do, you're going to go back, back out of everything. You want to do that to every single one of these icons, that little guy's head, this time, do whatever hotspot editing that you would want. And once you're happy with it all, just open up an editor once again, select your little menu there at the top or at the bottom if you say using a Samsung device, go to lock widgets and then turn it on. There it is, just like that, quick and simple. You can always test it out by say selecting your gallery. It'll open up your gallery and that is it. That is the home screen complete, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. If you're still not too clued up on how this all works, check in the link in the description below for the complete guide to UCCW. And don't forget to follow us on our social media communities, for example, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and even Instagram. We always enjoy helping you guys out. And of course, last but not least, don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher title, Thema Beta. It's literally just one click and apply. It's available free on the Google Play Store. We highly recommend that you guys go and try it out as if you're really into theming and customizing your home screen and you don't want to waste hours and blood, sweat and tears on your home screen and you're always constantly changing it, then it's highly recommended for you guys. As we just want to make theming for you guys as simple as possible without any hassle and yeah, we're just trying to do the best we can. So if you have downloaded it, please leave it a review in the Play Store. It would really mean a lot to us. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.